great to be here, and it's great to have Collision in Toronto with so Welcome many to entrepreneurs. Toronto, everyone. It's uh, also a truly honor to sit next to our Prime Minister here. I'm very looking forward to our conversation today and um, as the founder and CEO of Broadband TV who has uh, built a global uh, leader. Uh, out of Canada, we had our successes and challenges over the last 14 years. And uh, I would say one of the, the biggest challenges that we face, and I'm sure many of the leaders, Canadian leaders, probably would share this with us, is access to talent. And uh, to be able to actually kind of uh, really access high quality talent quickly enough. When you're looking at November, the unemployment rates reach uh, the lowest point, which is great for our economy, but at the same time, obviously, it's making it more difficult for us to really access uh, the best talent quickly enough. Um, so I would actually love uh, to hear your thoughts, Prime Minister, in terms of what are your plans in investing in our local talent and increasing the steam seats across universities and colleges so we actually kind of really uh, see greater success across Canada, not just the tech industry, but as a whole across other industries. Well, there's no question that as the world is changing to being more of a knowledge economy, more tech, more innovative, uh, access to talent is going to be at the core of success for businesses, for economies, for entire countries. And that's why Canada, uh, even though we've been a country that has always had great natural resources and we will continue to, we've always layered onto them innovation and talent on top of it. But that's really come to a head recently as uh, we've determined that the Canadian advantage is in providing extraordinarily well-educated, hard-working, forward-thinking, creative, ambitious uh, Canadians to be part of the global economy. So access to talent obviously uh, comes from immigration and it comes uh, from training up and educating Canadians right. First of all, on immigration, we've seen we're at a time right now where uh, big countries around the world are closing themselves off a little more to immigration at a time where Canada is realizing that we need to stay open, we need to make sure we're drawing in the best and the brightest from all around the world. So one of the things we did was bring in a global skills strategy. So at the same time as the United States, to give a direct contrast, has made it more difficult to bring in global talent uh, into your businesses, into your companies, we've said, well, you know what? If you're bringing in global talent, you're also creating jobs and opportunities for Canadians. So the, the global skills strategy gives you two weeks. It'll take two weeks to bring in top talent from around the world in a particular industry. So we know that bringing in great, great immigration from around the world is a big piece of it. But the flip side of it is making sure uh, that we're giving the right opportunities to Canadians. Uh, investing in research and innovation, uh, boosting post-secondary education, making sure there are more coding programs for elementary and high school kids, making sure that we're ensuring that Canadians see a path for them in the technologi technological, the disrupted future we're part of. There's a lot of anxiety that people are feeling all around the world, and it's coming out in all sorts of different ways, whether it's populism, whether it's nationalism, whether it's, whether it's uh, 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 protectionism. What we're doing in Canada is making sure that there is room for everyone to succeed, everyone to feel like there's a path forward for them and their kids in technology. And that's why we can be investing in AI the way we are. We can be investing in tech the way we are. And it's not a source of anxiety for Canadians because they're being brought along with it. And that's a key part of making sure that there is the talent that global companies need when they want to set up in Canada where we have an incredible diversity that allows you to plug back in right around the world. So you 